Yo, what's good, y'all? In today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to make a character changer GUI. Where, like you type, you type pretty much to explain how it'll work. You type in a player's name in the text box, and then it'll change your entire, like not just your like your outfit. It'll literally clone whatever your character has, any packages, anything and stuff like that, as long as the game remits it itself, of course, and make your character look just like their character and stuff. And yeah, I might be talking a little low and stuff. I sound low and stuff because it's late and stuff. So yeah, this is a relatively short video and stuff. But yeah, though, uh, don't forget, uh, what's it called? Join my Discord and Roblox group. Links can be found in the description and stuff. And yeah, thank you guys for 250 subscribers, halfway to 300. But yeah, though, let's go. All right, so first things first, of course, you're going to need a GUI, right? We'll call this our... We'll call this... Um, I'll say character changer. In a way, we are kind of changed. We're switching to another person's character, but it doesn't really matter. But anyway, then let's insert a text box, right? We can name this name text box, right? We can just put it right here. Not really much to really do, to be honest. Yeah, not really. Yeah, we don't even need to customize it or anything. I'm gonna simply just scale the text just so I can see it and stuff. So yeah, what you want to do is go on over to replicated storage, insert a remote event, call this your, we'll say change event, we'll call it change event, right? And then we're going to go into the text box, we're going to insert a local script, name this our, we'll say change local, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to, of course, reference the remote event, local change event, by making it into a variable, local event equals game. Replicate storage dot change event. Then we're gonna say script dot parent dot focus loss. That pretty much means whenever a player clicks, or I should say, hits the enter key, or clicks away from the text box while they have the text box open. Like while they have the text box open, they either hit enter or they click away while they have it open and stuff. But yeah, connect function, local text. Make sure you put the variable for text inside here. If you put it out here, it's only going to get the text when the server starts. Like when it's loaded and stuff, it's only going to get the text, like the the default text that it has right there and stuff like that, right? Now, if you put the text inside of the function, it's going to get the text every single time, which is what you want, of course. So we're going to do local text is equal to script.parent.text. Then change event, fire server, and then we're going to send over the text, right? And boom, we're done with that. We close all that. Then we're going to head over to server script service and insert a server script. So then we can say change and then we'll put server. All right. And then, of course, just like before, we're going to reference the remote event, local change event. You have to replicate storage dot change event. Then we are going to come down here. We're going to do change event dot on server event, connect function player and then we'll say user we're going to need to get the player's character local character is equal to game dot workspace find first child you could you could do find first child or you get a uh, character from player but i just like to do find first child play their name and then we're going to need to get to the player's user id right so we're going to do local id is equal to oh we're also going to need to get players okay so go up here click enter then do local players then literally just do you can do game get service players or game dot players. E either one works. Yeah, you can do local ID, then do players. Then I believe it's wait. Oh wait no. Oh no no, no I'm stupid, stupid, stupid. Not game get service. Game dot players. So you want to do players. Then you wait. That's where. Wait. I'm shipping. Oh, we know I'm doing stupid. Yeah, 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 okay. Game dot players, right? Then do players, and I believe it is something user ID. Yeah, get user ID from name async. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. So then you're going to put the name, which of course would be user. That's what the player sent over, right? That's the text they sent over, which should be the player's username, right? So then we get the player's ID. Then local description, which is equal to. I believe the function is player and then I just know it's something humanoid. Yeah, yeah get humanoid description from user. Yeah, 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 that's what it is. Yeah, okay. So we put the ID. Then what we're going to do is character. This one autofill, by the way, character.humanoid. Apply description. Oh, that's not spelled that right. Description. 
then put a description. Boom. Right. And boom, it should work. So if you click play, um I am gonna go to a Roblox group I'm a part of and I'm going to just choose the like actually no, I'm gonna choose one of the people in my group actually, since that's the first group I see. Um Sean one hundred, we're going to use you we're gonna use you as an example and stuff because you're one of the first names I saw on my page and stuff. So yeah, we're gonna use him. So his name is Sean underscore one hundred. So if I go here and type in Sean underscore one hundred and click enter, boom. It li literally changed me. Literally changed me into blocky and then you give me like all his accessories, literally everything. If you want to verify that this is um that this is accurate and stuff, you can go under my you can literally go to my group links in the description and you can just go see it for yourself. But yeah. Or um let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, the dev, let's do the Dev King because the Dev King is popular. Um, I don't know his exact. I don't know if it, I don't think. Never mind. I don't think that's his user or Alvin Blocks. I don't know their exact Roblox users, so yeah, I'm not really sure. Yeah, I'm not really sure. But you guys, oh wait, never mind. Never mind. I say this, I say Okay, I'm gonna do Alvin Blocks because Alvin Blocks is a pretty known, pretty well known person. Yeah, definitely in terms of like scripting and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm gonna do Alvin Blocks, and then we're going to do here. Then I can just copy paste his name. Boom. Hit enter. Boom. And now I'm Alvin Blocks, just like that. But yeah, and stuff. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. If it was, if it was helpful, of course, like and subscribe. Links to join my Discord and Roblox group can be found in the description. Both scripts will be found in the uh, description of the video and stuff like that. If you have any questions. Or comments leave it down in the comment section down below or join the discord and dm me and stuff but yeah i'll see you guys thank you guys for watching see ya